Thank you very much. Uh, I would want to greet you with Jewish uh, word Shalom. Shalom to all of you. Shalom means peace. You can answer to me also. Shalom. shalom. Yeah, thank you. You can see it. Uh, I want to start with uh, words of apologizing. My, Hebrew, my English is not very good. You know, uh, it's third language, so not always in your head enough space for this. And my mother language is Russian. And uh, about 30 years ago, I come to live to Israel, and uh, Hebrew is different. It's even you write from different side, like, and uh, it makes you a little bit crazy. And after it's past opportunity or also need to speak English, and you're in trouble. Like, it's me in trouble. I'm in trouble. Uh, but you know, always with language, with speech, it's always some funny things happen. Yeah. And I will tell you one biblical story, if you like. It's not about Holy Spirit, but Moses, he led the nation of Israel out of Egypt. And first stop, God asked Moses, nobody, which direction we will go? And you know that Moses have a heavy tongue. It's written in the Bible, you remember? You, you, you give me a reaction, because other way, like, I don't know, like in, in Finland. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and uh, heavy tongue, it's mean, I don't know this word in English. He like, stu 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 stutter. stutter, 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 like, like, p p p p Pastor Jer Jerry, something like this, yeah? So uh, God asked him, uh, which direction we will go? And he tell, k k k. so God has mercy for him and tell Canaan. Canaan, you know it's Canaan. Yeah. And he tells Canaan. He, no, Canada. And God tell no, first word is more important, you know. <laughs> so this is of course joke. <laughs> I pray that Holy Spirit will give us joyful time today. And uh, Without of good and strong words, I trust you, holy God, that you can do inside of us things much bigger that we can even understand. Yes, and we know that you use your spirit, you use your power, you use different things. You use some buttons inside of us that we even don't know what is it. But you can provoke us to be people who are hungry for you, and uh, as written in Bible, Jesus tell, nobody can come to Father if him by, by himself not bring you to him. So I ask this mercy for us and for also for our families. And I want, I request, if some of you pray for a member of your family who far from God, just raise your hand. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will do this miracle. And this word that once proclaimed uh, what his name in English, Yehoshua, Joshua bin Nun, me and my family we will serve to the Lord. I pray that this will accomplish in these people who raise their hand. But in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So, Pentecost, you know, uh, some people forget about this praise, feast, but it's very big. And Bible, Bible, have number of feasts that described very careful. If you can read later, not now, Leviticus chapter 23. It's a really short but exact explanation about God's feasts. God choose the special dates. And in Jewish tradition, we tell these dates and also Shabbat day. It's like time that heaven became closer to earth. It's like you just raise a little bit your hand, not much, like, like and you already touch. And it it's means that he opened his ear to hear your prayers and also your worship. And uh, in Jewish perspective, it's very important. Even symbolism, it's very important. 
And I think it's also good to people who not live in Jewish surrounding also to understand this. Because it's not Jewish, actually. This is biblical. This is biblical. It's belonged to him. And this is his dates. And it's, this date is very important. Pentecost, majority of Christians, that they speak about Pentecost, they know this day Holy Spirit come on apostles and, and, teacher, and, and, stu- and disciples of Jesus, and they start speak tongues. Yeah. You know this, yeah? But actually it's double, double feast. Right. Before 2,000 years that this happened in Jerusalem, something similar but in different way happened in, in desert. Right. Nation of Israel left Egypt, and it was a huge number of people. And we studied in previous two uh, messages <coughs> about this. I spoke a little bit in details. Now I make these things shorter. But they left Egypt in Passover. Right. Passover, you know what I mean, Passover? Passover, angel of God who was called by God to kill every firstborn. Passover just, just actually in Hebrew, it's almost to jump behind like this. Boom, and you left. So he jumped behind Jews because he saw blood. You remember this story. And after, next night, all Jewish people went out of Egypt. So 50 days from this point, they found themselves near Mount Sinai. And they stay surrounded of this mount, not only Jews. And I show from Exodus chapter 12 that this was also huge, not Jewish population. And God proclaimed, I am Ten Commandments, by the way. Uh, you know what is it? It's just principle of life. Some people really not understand them. Okay, it's very easy some way to understand, don't kill. You remember? But how you put in same line something like keep Shabbat? Yeah. Uh, like, uh, you, you understand my question? Yeah. <clears throat> Not, don't kill and keep Shabbat. But point that, that God speaks something to us. Usually we see only higher place of iceberg. What is behind the water? It's much bigger. Right. So very often that the God requests from us something. It's only levels that we can understand. True. You know, modern time, and uh, we stay in Israel, communicate almost with all world about spiritual subject, and people send to us letter and tell, look, uh, you know, it's modern life. I not really need to go to church. I can switch up uh, a computer, and this is fine. You know, probably it's good answer for handicap. Probably, I'm not sure that it's good answer for handicap, but that cannot go out of house because computer delivered to you only knowledge, but nothing can exchange prayer, Lord's Supper, and community. Worship together. And majority of us, even that we not participate, sometimes we not understand how rich this. So you probably, like me, not good singer, and your ears not very good accept music like me, but that you stay in worship of people. It's something from God that pierce. And you cannot ignore this. It's a very important point. And this is why it's written in Hebrews, don't leave your congregation. So people die, but it was all time. Now I check internet and this is done. No, it's not done. It's, it's like to have family on internet, you know. You cannot have family on internet. Probably you can love an internet, but children definitely you will not make on internet, yeah? Probably it will be in future, but not yet. <laughs> I know <not> seem so. <laughs> so we speak about Holy Spirit. And uh, in previous meetings, I gave explanation what it means holy. And holy 
Usually, Christians understand that it's somebody very special. Yeah, in some way it's very special. Separated, absolutely, but not exalted. Exalted, you know what it means, exalted? Don't touch me because I am full of spirit. Don't disturb me. I will tell you how to live. Because I stay in special glory. This is wrong. This is not biblical. This is actually pagan. And that God teach his people in, in, in five book of Moses and specifically in Leviticus chapter 90, very clearly God tell explanation what it means holy. Respect your mother and father. Respect some people around of you. If you, need, if you see somebody starving, help him. Right. If you see idolatry, ignore this. Celebrate me. Worship me. So all the things, it's not something exalting. It's very practical. But many people today, by false understanding this point... Think, if I believe in Jesus and if I'm a successful preacher, I should stay in some podium and don't touch me. It's wrong. Because Jesus tell, if you big, be servant. Be at least at the same level of eyes. And this way, if we operate in this world, we can deliver from us power of restoration. So to be holy, it's actually, it's to be a normal person. To be holy, it's you respect people and you do for this something. You not just respect on words. You know, one guy, his name Luther, it was a couple hundred years ago. He wanted to kick out from Bible, letter of Jacob. Because Luther was very much faith-orientated person. I believe so everything done. But Jacob, you remember Jacob in Bible? Or in your, in, in, James, in your Bible is James. You know why it's James? You know it's James? His, his real name is Yaakov, Jacob. But King James pay money to translate from Hebrew to English. So he tell you something that my name will be in Bible. So they change name Jacob to, to James. But it's really Jacob. But anyway, in James or Jacob, it's written, show your faith through your deeds. And if you succeed, if you see hungry, don't uh, give him hug. Give him... 20 bucks to eat some hamburger. This is a point. And very much people confused by different theory of, of, of I forget name, that you became very prosper, like prosperity. Bible not about prosperity. Bible about change inside of us. And if change inside of us happen, and God choose for you to be rich, you will be rich. But if you will raise your mouth with your money, yeah. same way he can, like he did you, he, like he make you rich, he can make you poor. Right. 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 And this is big temptation in modern life. But anyway, let's come back to holy. Holy, it's somebody who can serve in practical way. And this is similar idea about Holy Spirit. God's Spirit, it's not something like magic, work some places. He come to us and transfer and influence us with similar, what is called Jesus message. Before Jesus was born, People expect that the Messiah will come, he will bring change. And as that he was born, his mother Miriam, Mary, Miriam, in Hebrew it's Miriam. You can repeat Miriam? Miriam. Jew, Jewish name. And his father Yosef, 
you have in Joseph, yeah, Joseph. They brought him to temple, and one holy man, it's written in Luke chapter 2, take Jesus on his hands and prophesy, and he tell small one, this small one, come to this world for two reasons. Reason number one, to shine, to light, to Gentiles. And reason number two, to restore people of Israel. Pastor Jerry, please, you can read these verses. This is Luke chapter 2. And you have in your, uh, probably it will be good for people to, yeah. okay? Which you have prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nations. And he is the glory of your people Israel. Light to the nations. Light to the nations. We spoke uh, our hour before about big confuse or big temptation or big darkness that cover all world. And I don't want to go to details, but all these things happen because rebellion of people, about human race. Just tell God, we not really respect you. And Probably I will repeat very shortly so you will understand. How many of you remember in Genesis chapter 11 story about uh, Babylon Tower? You remember? So it's written that nations come together to place it is called Shinar, its name. Shinar, like you have Chicago. So this place Shinar. And I don't want to go to meaning. And uh, they start to build building. An idea of this building, we will build something high that even flood, next flood will come. He will not cover. We will succeed to be in life. And God will not kill us. Right. This was general idea. Historically, historically, that they build this Babylonian tower. They establish up two worships. Two major idols. Name of one idol, it was Babel. You remember in, uh, later in Torah, they sacrificed children. It was a statue, and they just put children on, on his hand and kill like, for something. Second idol in Babylon, in Babylon Tower, it was Ishtar. Ishtar, it, it's she, she. God of fertility. So usually, all worship to Easter, it was sexual orgy. You understand what means sexual orgy? Unclean stuff. And in this time, this was kind of religious cult. Later, we read the New Testament, Apostle Paul have trouble in Ephesus, you remember in Ephesus, because he preached and many Ephesian people come to faith and some rich guys and worships of idols rebel against Paul because he breaks their income. And what it was their income? Because he preached that Astarta, it's a different name, for same idol, Ishtar, lose worshippers. But it means that same cults, same cults, they exist not only in time of Babylon, but later too, just change names. Today, these two cults exist also, but out of religious surrounding. And I will give you very clear explanation. Sorry, guys. But this is Bible. And Bible teaches us that immoral worship, it's sin. Uh, immoral sex, it's sin. Right. And it's actually worship to Ishtar. And that we kill babies, abortions, and all this. We sacrifice to it's, it's something very similar. So confusion, confusion. People, human beings became be confused. Right. And at some point, God chose person, his name Abraham, and he tell, proclaim my word to nations, and I will bless you. You will be my servant. You will be light. And actually, I explained that the nation of Israel grew from seed of Abraham 
and they come to Mount Sinai, and they get from God Ten Commandments. This is not was only to to, to to nation of Israel, because in Exodus chapter twelve, written that not only Jewish people went out from Egypt, but big number, big huge number of nations, and all of them receive same commandment that can change us. And even that we not understand all details, God requests to from us keep this. Right. Respect person. Right. And you don't know, probably through this person you respect God. And we read in New Testament that once Abraham just received guest, after he recognized that this was three angels. Right. You remember, this is a New Testament. Be guest receiving person. Probably it's not right word in English, but you get me. <laughs> so, so, something very interesting. Human beings, God create human beings much more developed that we can see inside of us today. And scientists, they tell that our mind work today about six, seven, eight percent only. But that we read story of creation, it shows that Adam and all these guys who live for 800, 900 years, they was so powerfully full spiritually, intellectually, so that not other explanation that because sin and rejection God will, destruction or corruption come in human race. And we became more and more and more simple, less and less understandable. We just lose our glorious position. And God tell, it's written in Acts chapter 3, verse 21. It's written that Jesus went to heaven, and before he will come back, God go to restore everything. It's written in Greek language, exactly word, to restore everything, what it became corrupt. So now I can tell you something probably a little bit strange, and probably some of you will not believe to this, but this is Bible. Some people, they want to escape and go to heaven for eternity. But you know, according to the Bible, heaven, it's not eternity. After we die, probably for a period of time, we in some godly places, but Bible speak about resurrection from the dead, and this is a glorified earth after restoration for future glory of God. But if we understand differently, so it make change in our attitudes, which way I will explain. If I want to just escape from here, not important what I did before, like I was bad, I was good, Important that in only one mo in last moment I will ask God forgive me and uh, shh, I am in this place. But if I know that I will be resurrected here, I give attention what I am doing, what I try to produce on this earth. And this is Bible, and this is Bible teach us. And Holy Spirit was sent to us that we will be different inside, hungry for God. And in this way, we can add you in the world. This way, we just leave behind of us good things. Some people tell, but I am a simple person. What I can leave behind of me? You simple person, but your prayer and probably your help to some needy person or probably you just hug for somebody who's starving or, or, or crazy or I don't know, go through difficult situation. And you know, this is, will be blocks, that God will use these blocks to build steps for Jesus coming back. Yeah. Your deeds, your deeds, not to escape from here. In the right time, everybody will be with God. 
But important that we will be open for Holy Spirit, that we can attitude here in the right way and influence this world. So I come back to Holy Spirit. So the destruction happened in human beings. Something else happened. Gifts. Man created with many, many gifts. So if Adam spiritually or physically or intellectually will, was probably 100%, so what I, how I can find this 100 inside of me? You know, God didn't take this out. He just closed inside. Closed inside. And this is in some place inside. Right. Now I want to go and read some passage from Bible. And I want to speak a little bit about tongues. You know that baptizing in, in Holy Spirit, sometimes after this you, not sometimes, almost always, you speak tongues. And we studied in previous meeting that first tongues that come to church, it was understandable tongues. That first believers get Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 2. All people in Jerusalem guessed from different countries. They was very clearly understood. They, these Galilean Jews, speak on our own languages. People from Galatia and from Cappadocia and from Asia and from Germany and from different... How these simple guys from Galilee, like what's Galilee? Who knows? It's like some small village in Galilee. It's like different than Michigan Lake. Yeah. It's much smaller. Yeah. Hot, very hot, very simple. Yeah. You take your fish, give me my money, and this is it. No TV, no internet, nothing. Yeah. And these guys speak like professors from, universe, from Harvard University yeah. and Cappadocian language or in Asia and Greeks think, wow, how this simple guy can speak like Aristotle. Yeah. Aristotle, it's right. Yeah, right, right. You're right. You're right. But you know, later, concept changed. One day, Peter saw vision with not kosher food. How many of you know it's kosher? Kosher that Jews can eat, what it's not kosher that Jews cannot eat. Yeah. You know how to understand what it's kosher, what it's not? Yeah. Interested? Yeah. I will give you a short explanation. Right. After sin, God cures world. Right. So every being, I mean every animal or fish that have direct contact with earth or with water, not clean. If something between between animal or fish and water and all or land, clean. What it mean? Fish, if they have this, I don't know in English, all these scales, clean. Because it's kind of isolation. If it's no this, not clean. Catfish, not clean. Okay? Animal, cow, she have, uh, I don't know, also in English, like nice, yeah. So isolation and food not go directly, like go these two times. So it's clean. You, you understand? Pig not clean because he eat everything. And no stop him, like whoop, done. We got it. Yeah? So about what I've spoken before, I forget already. <laughs> it's third meeting, guy tired. Uh, huh? Yeah, Peter saw vision with not kosher food. And some people think that he ate this food, but he, no, he declined. But from this vision, he, he was a good Jew. And he tell, what does it mean for me? And in the same moment, somebody knocked to his door and tell, we sent it by a Roman military guy and he requests from you to come and to visit him and for Jew it was forbidden because that you go inside of gentle house you immediately touch unclean stuff and this is big ceremony to became again clean and in Jewish style of life 
to be clean, it's much more complicated and much more important than sin, by the way. And uh, Peter tell, okay, I will do. Let's read this passage in the Bible. And this is, uh, and this is uh, I think, moment... It's uh, chapter, Acts chapter 10, and let's read verses 44 and 45. Acts chapter 10. Ready? Verses 44 and 45. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell on all those who heard the word. All the believers of the circumcision who had come with Peter were astonished because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. You please understand, Jewish nation was expecting for Messiah and for change. And they think only us, some way they lose call of God to deliver good things to Gentiles. This is what originally called, but that you always persecuted, you close your door. If you, this is prophecy for you, if some of you was attacked and get many problems in your life and you close door, you're not like people, you're in trouble. You should ask from God to release you from this, to open door. So Jews was in same mindset. But God, by this vision, take Peter out and he come to this guy and he start explaining simple things about Jesus and all people in the house of Carnelian start preach, preach, uh, talk tongues yeah. and, 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 and Jews was a little bit amazed. They think, okay, what, what, what we should do with this? And it was process. If somebody was turned to Judaism, he should go through several classes of education. It took about a year. And you should hold all commandments and blah, 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 blah. But after you just get, 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 get your certificate, and then certificate is written, now you Jewish. But here, we see that God interrupt yeah. inside of this. Later, we found that this situation, like with House of Carnelli, happened so many that Jewish... Uh, office of making the certificates was so busy they cannot work. And in Acts chapter 15, we see that all apostles come together and they tell what we can do with this big number of not Jews who come to faith. And Holy Spirit by Yaakov or James, what's his name? <laughs> by Yaakov, by James, mm -hmm. by Yaakov, just spoke and tell, this is a miracle of restoration, tabernacle of David, that all nations now became chosen, not only Jews. And all of them will be holy. What does it mean holy? Not exalted, but under God's commandment, how we love God and love people. And Holy Spirit was given to all everybody in one desire to change, to transform, to make different. And if you was close, to make you open. If you were hearted, to heal you. If you was sick, and now I don't speak about physical sickness. Sorry to tell, I'm pastor for more than 20 years, and you know, Sometimes pain in your soul much more painful than pain in your body. And God won't take care for both, but specifically for soul. But we want health and money, but He wants obedience and inside restoration. So it's very important. So, so God gave Holy Spirit, and in beginning it was understandable tongues, but in, in case of Cornelius, 
and other places in the Bible, we see something very strange, different tongues. Tongues that it's called tongues of angels. Also, in some other books of New Testament, it's explained that we speak tongues with secrets give to God. At previous meeting, I gave you an example of Sanhedrin. Sanhedrin, it was spiritual rulership uh, group, very smart people. Some of them spoke 70 languages. Unbelievable. But, you know, Apostle Paul makes some conversation with them. Apostle Paul was also from the same group. Before he became a believer in Jesus, he was also very educated, and he, judged, he was judged. Because according to Jewish tradition, clothes of uh, people who make punishment, they put near uh, legs of judge. So he was probably 23, 24 years old only, but he was so talented that he already was in judge position. Next stop for him, ne next st stop for him, or next uh, uh, step for him, it was just to be member of Sanhedrin. But in this time, he recognized that Jesus, it's not a lie, and he extra revelation about God of Israel. And he went in, and after a normative way, he made kind of co correspondence with previous friends, people from, from uh, Sanhedrin that know 70 languages. How many of you remember 1 Corinthians chapter 13? It's famous place about love. Yeah. You remember? But this... But this chapter started with very interesting words. If you speak all tongues, even angels' tongues, but you have not love, you just zero. And this is, was not only prophecy about new tongues, it was correspondence with guys who know 70 languages. And he was telling him, it's good what you have. But very important that you became be open for God and you will receive things from Him and operate in His glory. This case, you will be very fruitful. So now let's read very interesting verse. It's Second Timothy. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Second Timothy, chapter two, verse twenty. In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver, and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions, and the cheap ones are for everyday use. I already mentioned that us people, we descendants of other people who was in very glorious position. And because sin of our pro 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 fathers, we just in our small position. Gifts of God, you can, they cannot disappear, but they can be closed inside of us. So now please understand and carefully follow me because my, my language problem. But in this verse that pastor just read it, it's written that in rich house, different kinds of vessels. A rich house, it's universe. Different kind of vessels, it's people. People from gold and silver, this is people who decide to serve God. People that de de deny, deny him, deny, yeah. deny him, this is simple, dirty vessels. Right. Now, this is Jewish way to see these verses. Now, how many of you know it's, what it means, glossagalia? Prayer in tongues. How many of you know this? Oh, not many. I, uh, please show me who understands what it means, prayer in tongues. Okay. So, if you go to internet, you can find 
different groups pray tongues. Christian groups, but also some Muslim groups. Some voodoo. You know what's voodoo? Some voodoo groups. Some magic groups also pray tongues. And many Christians became very confused. What is it? If we have Holy Spirit, why they do something very similar? Verse that I read it right now, actually very simple and clear explanation. Very special secret things from previous generation. Our DNA, one day it will be opened by restoring power of God before Jesus will come back. But now it's closed inside. But in moments that we worship spiritual subjects, touch with spirit, open something inside. That we worship God, holy tongues come out. That they worship evil spirits, it's still spiritual mechanism. He touch your inside, open you, and you bring things that are really demonic. This is a very simple way to understand. So what is for us? Why I speak about all these subjects? You know, probably I should call my message, Holy Spirit, also our own decision. Very much and very often, we condemn Satan that he confuse us. But actually, who responsible? It's you and me. We make our own wrong decision and we pay for these decisions. But if we can understand from God that he wants us as his co-workers, we should make this decision to request Holy Spirit. It's to be ready for change inside of you. Holy Spirit, spirit of order. And if you disorder person and not like order, don't ask him. But if you think that you can be a right vessel in God's hand, request, and he will give you. And it will be also given to you gift, tongues, prophecy. Who knows? So many God have in his pocket. Only decision separate between us and him. But if we're ready, God can push us forward. And our influence on this world will be much bigger than before. Not to escape to heaven and nothing import me after, but to decide I won't leave behind me something precious that God will use us as base for Jesus' second coming and restoration. It's time? Really? In America, time go quicker than in Israel. Okay, I think I deliver my message. Decision. Moment. Decision to follow God. Decision to reject evil. Decision to respect people. And decision to leave behind of you good, good, valuable base. If we operate only with these four simple steps and request his spirit, he will give us. And our life will have such much, so big value in his eyes that it's very important. Guys. Thank you for watching the Christian Life Center YouTube channel. Don't stop here. Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with our weekly sermons. If you have any questions or want to connect with us through the week, you can go to our website at clc.tv or you can download our free app that's available on your phone. Thank you and God bless.